Directed by Ali Abba Zafar, Bloody Daddy starring Shahid Kapoor, Sanjay Kapoor, Diana Penty and Ronit Roy in the lead roles is finally released on Jio Cinema. As the film releases on the OTT platform, we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview, explain the ending and discuss the hidden details. But before that, a spoiler warning is in order for those who haven't watched the film yet, as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the movie. And if you are done watching it already, kindly follow us through this video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel, it helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on to the basic plot of the film. The Hindi remake of Kamal Hassan starring Thungabhanam, which is a remake of the 2011 film Nuit Blanche, opens by informing us about the drug mafia and corrupt cops, but a sloppy opening sets the tone for the remainder of the film. Sumer and his sidekick Jaggi are on the hunt for two drug supplies in 2021, soon after the second wave of the COVID pandemic. They are successful in obtaining the drugs, but the man carrying them runs away. This will cost Sumer a lot because it seems that there was more to this hunt than just obtaining high value drugs. They also received 3 kgs of excess goods which surprises them because it implies that a jackpot awaits the two of them. Sumer and Jaggi are Delhi police narcotics officers. The former receives a call from Sikandar Chaudhary, the local drug lord and their dialogue suggests that they are extremely familiar with one another. Sikandar informs Sumer that Atharva, his son, has been kidnapped. They will let the kid go provided Sumer returns the drug's consignment to Sikandar. Sumer and Sikandar may have had a long-standing relationship, but things appear to be tense right now, which likely led to this situation. Sumer agrees to hand over the bag in order to save his kid. The man is a divorcee whose only comfort is his son, and he cannot let his work come between him and his boy. His son has been estranged from him for long and the kidnapping could not have occurred at a worse time. Sumer arrives at Sikandar's hotel and conceals the bag in the men's restroom. His activity through the hotel indicates that he is knowledgeable of the hotel and its environs, and this is most likely not the first time he has completed one of Sikandar's assignments. Sikandar no longer trusts Sumer as a result of the act he committed. There is still doubt in his mind about whether Sumer is a double agent or just a corrupt official. Sumer reveals himself in order to acquire Sikandar's trust and Sikandar allows Sumer to see his son for a few seconds. The corrupt officer quickly returns to recover the bag only to discover that it has vanished. Sumer is terrified because he cannot afford to lose his son due to a botched transaction. He can only hope to discover a method to substitute something else for the authentic coup. So he goes to the hotel's kitchen, prepares packets of white flour and delivers them as is. This shows how the guy intends to be a better parent and if he and Atharva survive, he intends to improve on his connections with him. Aditi, Samiz Jr. at the narcotics wing, was the one who took the suitcase to the women's restroom after following Sumer inside the hotel and becoming suspicious of his activities. Aditi comes across as one of the few department's few honest cops who believe in doing the right thing. Aditi informs Samir of the bag's true location, assuming that the man is clean, but Samir's stiff demeanor demonstrates that he, like Sumer, is terrified. Sumer and Samir may have had some friction for a time, and using that scenario as leverage, Samir aims to apprehend Sumer under the premise of drug possession. Sumer was fast to leave with his son after delivering the phony drugs to Sikandar and his associate Hamid. He is then relieved that this horrific experience is done, and he wishes to go back before he is apprehended. Sumer delivering phony drugs stuns Hamid and Sikandar, and his biggest dread came true as Atharva was taken hostage once again. Sumer has no idea where the bag is, and as a result, he is prepared to kill anyone in order to find his son. He wants to save his son because he cannot bear the consequences of his errors. He informs Aditi that he is an undercover cop who intends to take down not just Sikandar and Hamid but also a high-ranking police official who is at the heart of the drug ring. Stealing the bag was part of the strategy proving Sumer's innocence and his desire to clean up the entire narco wing. The audience is still perplexed by the multiple plot twists, making it tough to connect the dots. Sumer obtains Jaggi's phone and deduces that someone forced Jaggi to go behind Sumer for the bag. This reveals that Jaggi was a crooked officer as well and Sumer was undoubtedly aware of it. And his campaign against crooked police officers is only getting started. In an attempt to rescue his kid, Sumer and Sikandar's men engage in a major shootout, killing Hamid and Sikandar's brother. This once again casts Sumer in a favorable light. He battles Samir over the bag and Samir accuses Sumer of going rogue. 
This however is largely a scheme to ensure that Sumer is apprehended alive and Sumer is hailed as a hero. Aditi trusted the story so she moved the suitcase somewhere. She has no idea whom to believe at this point as too many back and forth disputes add to her perplexity about what is going on and when this agony will finish. Sumit is able to extract his son from the situation. Instead of going for the bag, he chooses to keep his son with him. As a parent, he wants Atharva to think that while Sumit is proud of his career, his son's life is more important to him. Later, he stubs Jaggi's phone into Aditi's jacket in the middle of the turmoil. Aditi and Sameer ultimately apprehended Sikandar. On her trip back to the police station, Aditi discovers that Sameer is the chief officer aiding the drug kingpins, including Sikandar. She is surprised since she looked up to him as a senpai of sorts. Sameer suddenly shoots Aditi, Sikandar and the driver of the car, then manipulates the crime scene so that Sikandar is blamed for the murders, and to make it look like that Sameer was forced to kill him in self-defense. Again, this does not address the main problem as we are still not sure whom Samir was going to deliver the drugs if he wasn't working for Sikandar or Hamid. There might be a new drug lord prepared to pay Samir more or Samir was probably attempting to establish his own syndicate. Unfortunately for him, Aditi was just seriously hurt and it is fair to assume that she will speak out against him and his involvement in protecting the crooks. Aditi did it because she genuinely cared for her profession and believed it was her obligation to speak up. Sumer survived serious injuries sustained at the hotel, he is the hero who saves his son from peril and in return he brings his father to the hospital. He appears to be a transformed person who wants to spend more time with Atharba. In the conclusion of the film, Aditi questions him about the extra 3 kg of cocaine in the luggage. Sumer pretends to be uninformed but his son discovers a similar packet in his car. He and his son drive away together and the extra 3 kilograms of drug may demonstrate that he is not the clean police officer he claims to be. Samir was correct in his assessment that every officer who claimed to be undercover was crooked. This demonstrates that Sumir, like every other corrupt narcotics cop, may be a sellout. The film is not entirely bad and neither is exceptional. The comedy works in some places, mostly in the verbal exchange sequences between Sanjay Kapoor and Ronit Roy's character. However, the action is lackluster and a clusterfudge with choppy editing. Shahid's performance is good though, but the screenplay dumps it down a little. In the original film or even in the Tamil remake, the father-son dynamics worked really well which practically went ignored in this venture. But if you haven't seen the previous films, you might enjoy Bloody Daddy a little bit better. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video, do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Bloody Daddy on Geo Cinema, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off, Achha chalta hoon, ye to aata hai and I'll be back.